Hello and welcome to Middleburg. My name is Josh. This is the Gaming Joy Channel. We are continuing our little playthrough here. Back on our second farm. And if you didn't notice, we are uh, just in the next day. We're in our little tractor here. Trying to feed the chickens. There we go. <laughs> Got to keep all our new animals fed. We already fed the cows. The sheep are doing okay. The goats are doing okay. Gosh, so many animals. Um, but we're down on the here on the old farm, on the new farm, just for a little bit, just to keep the animals fed. And then we're going to head up to the main farm because we do have a little bit of kind of back to basics for this series. And because we have our mega meadow to, to f mow today. And we get to mow that huge super huge prairie grass field made field that we made last time or a few episodes ago but the one i wanted to start off over here because i want to show you one thing we did edit just a little bit and as you can see boom we did find a silo now this silo i actually think perfectly fits the space this is a massive massive silo complex honestly for this massive farm We've moved some things around. We put our, our fill stations right here. Um, that's the, the black one's the regular fill station and the brown one's the husbandry fill station. And this silo technically has a grain dryer in it, but a, the grain dryer is currently deactivated. To get it to fit, we actually had to move uh, the pig barn kind of towards the fence a little bit, kind of the way I'm facing. But I actually think it looks better where it is now. There's not so much dead space behind it. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I'm actually just going to leave this tractor here because we're going to have to feed the chickens again tomorrow. They do go through a lot of food. In the meantime, we are going to jump up to... That's close enough. Not this one. <laughs> the one behind it. I'm going to jump up to our mower. And we're going to get over to our mega meadow. Now, we haven't mowed this meadow in a while since the beginning of spring. So it is definitely time to mow. As you can see, all the grass around here is also fully grown. Whip around that fill station. Now, I don't actually remember if I was smart enough to make this path wide enough to drive right up here. It looks like I wasn't. Alright. Well, since we're not smart enough, we're actually just going to teleport up there just because it's quick and easy. I'm going to jump up there and get going on that mowing. I'll fix that field a little bit later. So we're up here and we have our meadow. We can just set a course. Actually, I think we already have a course. Uh, Mega Meadow, new windrower, load course, activate. And this is one of the things I like about course play is that you can create courses. And as you can see, our course is already in memory for us. And once we get a course we know works right, we can just go use that course again. So we're going to set this right here get this guy going for mowing and windrowing and we will continue on for something else now if you notice our money is way down way down um which is kind of weird for this series considering how much money we're making in other places that does mean we have to go over and sell some stuff from our paper mill so if we jump over almost we're almost there to our paper mill as you can see we've got some paper stacked up now, i don't know if i showed this last time but this is what i've been doing to sell the paper so when the paper gets stacked up like this um we're just coming in like with this thing this is handheld i'm not using super strength for this moving this thing in here just sitting it right beside the paper mill and letting it sell easy peasy there we go a little bit more money. I'm not sure why the paper mill didn't make anything overnight, but or make too much stuff out of overnight. Cart and roll out of space. 
Hmm. Let's look. Those are contracts. It says out of space. It doesn't make sense. I have seen this happen actually before. Um, let me fix it real quick and get it back up and running. There we go. Fix it up. Um, mod conflict. No big deal. Um, unfortunately, we had to move some stuff around and we were using a mod called the Upgradable Factories mod. And I've actually been enjoying that mod on many different playthroughs. Um, and it looks like it works really good as long as you're not adding in extra fill types. But as soon as you add in something like our super greenhouse, which has extra fill types, it starts acting weird. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but I disabled it for now. We'll move around. We'll deal with it later. Um, gosh, every time I look at this, this like area here, I just can't wait to rip all these trees down. Anyways, let's get up to our field and see how our mower's doing. Again, too many vehicles now to tab. We're going to have to not tab very much anymore. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Looks like our tractor's here. Let's enter vehicle. I think he's just in the middle of a turn. <laughs> Get back to your job. Sorry, we had to uh, pause things and had to exit out of the game to disable that mod that turned off our route. Looks like he's doing pretty good. Um, What's next? I hit tab again. That's, I'm so used to doing that. It's going to have to cause problems. All right. So the next thing to do is actually get into our, our harvester. So on our own field, <laughs> we do have some crops coming up. It is August and it is time to harvest. I believe it's canola. I'm not sure. Um, but we have one, one of our fields that we bought recently and got all ready. It's ready to harvest. So let's get over to our own field and do that. Cause that sounds like a good plan. jumping cab for a second. Oh, hopefully not run over our eggs. Cab view from this thing is pretty awesome. Now we're, we jumped in super early in the morning because we do have a lot of mowing and bailing and all that kind of stuff to do. So we got lots to get done. I'll make sure we give ourselves enough time to do it. That said, we're going to run at about 2x speed today just because of all the things we have to do. Um, but we still want to actually get through our day and not just sit around. So there's our canola field. Let's whip around, pick up our header, and get to harvesting. So uh, go back into course playing because that's how we do things on here. So, you know, we've done this a couple of different times before, but I'll show you again. We're going to do field position. We're going to do right there or so. Let's actually do closer to us. So we don't have to drive over our do right there. Open, leave these settings, do a little bit more overlap outside the field. Just to make sure we don't miss the corners. Generate course. Perfect. We do have crop production turned off just because the workers, with the workers, they sometimes get a little bit funky and drive in other fields. And I like to move around nice and quick. But I turned it off today. Unfold. I did. There we go. And we're good to go. So we got our canola being harvested. Let's run up to our farm and get a truck to be able to unload that harvester. I don't think it's going to need very much. Um, but we don't need to get the big rig out. It's just one field.
in all honesty, might be just simplest just to get the, the crane car. Oh, hello. That was not very good driving. My apologies. Let's head back over the field, get this crane cart ready to go, and put it on the edge of the field so the harvester can just unload on its own. I believe all the harvesters are set for self-unload. This guy. Eh. Leave him right here. And then back up to the farm again. <laughs> so much to do, right? Back up to the farm and we'll get. Uh, we need a tractor for our bailer. Uh, where's the John Deere? I love looking around my farm for tractors. It's my favorite thing to do. So here's the five. Oh, this is a six. Well, the six is what I wanted. So that's what we're getting. Let's go and get the baler. And get the baler set up to go pick up some straw. Actually, we should pick up the... Let's get the baler. <laughs> Gosh, too much. We're going to get the baler picking up the grass. So we're going to have him following the course of the guy on the Mega Meadow. Which is very easy to do. We just come into here. Go to course play. Mega Meadow. Windrower. Load course. And now he's going to do that, that course on his own. And then we can come back in later on and pick up the bells. And if we get lucky, I'm not saying we will, but if we do, we won't have the bales get in the way of the windrow when he's doing his laps. But I mean, look at the size of those windrows. Oh my goodness. This is going to create a lot of bales. And not like we need them. We, we're flush on grass and harvest and silage. But you know, with our new crops and new animals, our new all these new animals we have, we do need that extra extra grass and it'll give us some money to keep moving forward Go there set the course on good to go and this guy is bailing <laughs> and already outputting a bail look at that we'll let him uh finish up and then We'll head over for the harvest. Let's go over for the harvest and see how the harvester is doing. I have to remember to do this each time. Harvester. There we go. Let's do a little time lapse on this harvester. Let him finish up and see how he go gets along. Bring you back in here in just a minute. Ready, set. Oh, let's turn off the course. Go.
our way back from the store. Looks like we got ourselves a new truck. Uh, this is a AR bed truck. It's a Freightliner. Pretty cool American truck. And we're going to use this bale loading contraption here on the back to hopefully load bales, not only in a little bit more of a realistic fashion, um, but also to be able to actually pick them up off the field and clear the space for our baler who seems to keep getting stuck. Um, we did have to exit out of the game real quick, which means I'm going to have to turn the baler back on. And the mower for that matter. We'll do that as we want to run around the field. But I'm just going to pick up these bales. This thing loads about 15 bales at a time, which is pretty good. Um, and it'll give us a chance to be able to pick things up quickly and not have to stop all the time. Just kind of drive by and collect the bales and keep moving. Look at that. Super fast. Now that we actually own all of this land to our left, it might be um, might be fun to extend. <laughs> I just love the <laughs> ripping down this forest, right? It might be fun to extend this mega meadow into something a little bit bigger. Here, let's get that guy going. This thing is stuck because he has a pail in front of him, as usual. Park this Freightliner right here for a second. Let's jump out and get these guys back on course. And go. Have fun. Good job. Go. And where is your waypoint? I'm not sure this guy has a waypoint. So let's. Figure out what it should be. I think he was just traveling. I'll wait to hear. And he's back on his way, and we can go pick up the rest of the bales. So, we've mowed this field a couple times now. We've bailed it a couple times. Kind of see what's going on and see what's happening. It's pretty fun. but And we're going to collect ourselves a lot of bales. This is our last three bales right here. And then we've got to go, once we're done here, we're going to jump over to the other, other meadow. It's a prairie grass field. And we're going to mow that one as well. So we'll catch you guys over there in just a minute. I'm going to finish up on this field. And we'll meet you over at the prairie grass field. Sound good? That's right. Hey, we're back over here at the prairie field. Now, it's, it's really st staggering how big this field is. And it's funny because on the map, on the mini map, it doesn't look super big. You know, especially when you zoom out. Like, it just, like, whatever, no big deal. But I think it's actually one of the bigger fields on the map, <laughs> in all honesty, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it actually is the biggest field on the map until we finish this one over here, which is going to be massive. But as you can see, our swather is heading around doing its pass, making this field as um, going around this field best it can. This is going to take a while. We're definitely not going to sit through all of this. Um, the one thing we are going to do is, as you can see, he's not actually getting all of the all of the hay. He's kind of getting up to the edge, but he's getting right up to the edge of the trees. So I think we're just going to call it and don't really care if there's extra. And hopefully he doesn't get any grass. He already got a little bit of grass. No big deal. That shouldn't affect the baler too much. Look at this. This is amazing. So much. Oh, look. There's a little piece in the middle that didn't get... Didn't well, no big deal. We'll let this thing go and we'll jump back in when we're done and or when we're starting to collect these bales and see how things go. Go!
And there we have it, folks. We're all done with this field. I mean, this thing is just, field is just massive. We've collected so much hay off this field <laughs> that our forage depot is a little bit overflowing. <laughs> and we're gonna have to sell some silage. So we're actually converting most of this hay directly into silage. Some of it's getting used for TMR, but no big deal. Um, we do need the TMR to feed the cows, since we especially have two sets of cows now. But, we're overflowing. We actually ran out of space. So we're going to go need to go sell some TMR. Best I'm sorry, sell some silage at the biogas plant. Best place to do that is going to be either the biogas plant or the, sorry, the BGA. But we don't actually own the BGA yet, so I think we're just going to be selling it outright, but maybe... Maybe we can use the profits from selling the couple loads of silage to actually buy the BGA and continue our little kind of domination of this map and get a little bit more under our belt. Uh, it is on this side of the <laughs> this side of the map, so it, it is sort of in our area. It's actually within the if we look at the map real quick. It is actually on this side within our area, so like we own right up to the to the bio, the BGA right here. So why not, right? Um, but let's let's jump over to the big rig. Enter. We haven't really used this big rig yet, but as you can see, we filled this up with silage to get this sold over the BGA. Let's head down there. 
and see how much we can make just from one load. Now, we haven't used this truck or this trailer at all yet. This is kind of going to be our grain hauling or bulk hauling trailer setup. It's probably the first thing on the farm that's not a Ford. Or, I'm sorry, uh, not a... Uh, yeah, not a... <clears throat> Not one of our existing F-150, F-250, or F-650, I think, is one of them is. Um, this is just a Kenworth. Um, kind of a nice American truck. I like it. Um, it's got some good sounds to it. And good customizations. I like a, a mod with good customizations. Let's blip over to the BGA and see how much we get from selling this load. We're over at the BGA now, and actually, the one thing I don't know, I've never checked, is, how do I get on the right side of the vehicle? That's kind of weird. Um, is how much this thing costs? I've never actually tried. Let's look. 250. That's not bad. That's actually doable. Um, and we're almost, it, we should we show our little numbers, we're almost at that. Need another hundred grand to get there. Uh, unfortunately, we've sold all of our wood chips <laughs> or all of our paper that we have stocked up. But it is getting up to. We could potentially sell some whiskey stuff like that. That could be a possibility. Uh, even though it's not the best time, which is July, it's still not bad, and we do have a good amount of, of whiskey stocked up, so we could sell that, make a little bit extra money. And then, instead of just selling to the BGA, we could own the BGA. And that also gives us the ability to produce, I believe, some extra stuff that's only available on this map. Like um, propane and maybe methane. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to check. But let's see how much we get from just this one cell. Okay, definitely not enough. We did get 40k, though. That's a good amount. Uh, and if we go into our menu here and we look at our time saving stock check, we do have what looks like f almost the exact same amount, good 50,000 liters of corn whiskey and of regular whiskey. Both of them could be sold at one of the bars um, and make a little bit of money. Let's uh, jump over and do that. And then we can buy this BGA. So we're not just selling and we're actually producing something. So let's do that. Here we are pulling up to our favorite sell point. We've got ourselves quite a load here of both whiskey and corn whiskey. Uh, and we'll let these things sell. See what happens. Uh, with our money. Uh, the ones on the back got a little crazy. I found that pulling through the between these two buildings is actually the best way to get things to sell correctly. As the sell point is kind of in between the buildings. And we're almost sold. I think we got one more in there. Looks like we got more than enough money to buy the BGA. Push this pallet over here. Ugh. Push this over to get it sold. There we go. And we're now up at 448. That's nice. Now we don't have much more whiskey to sell, but we do have more silage to sell. If we look down at our time saving stock check again, um, we, where's our silage? We got 3 million liters of silage. Between, if we look, we're between multiple forage depots. So we have two forage depots now, one down at the new farm, one at the old farm. And of course, they're both almost full. So we're going to go through and let's, uh, jump over real quick to here. Let's run over here, jump off the wall, boop, and buy ourselves the BJ. Boom. Now we can still sell here, which is the best part about buying it, is that even though we own it, 
the map, this map is just wonderful the way it's set up. You have this digester right here, which is basically ours, not that we own it. And this one is still a sell point. So no matter what, you always have a sell point, which I think is great. And it, the map author, Nitro Dad, did that with every single production on the map. So um, you always have a chance to sell whatever it is that you're buying the production for. So you can always sell your inputs. If you just need that money quick and you don't want to deal with the production, there's always a sell point. But I think that's going to be it for today. We just kind of, you know, we're back on the old farm or the first first farm. <laughs> uh, and we're just doing some normal day, every day to day tasks. But we got some more deliveries to do. I won't make you sit through that. But next time we'll be jumping into September, which should be getting into harvest season. We do have a couple of fields of our own to harvest this year, which is great. Um, and all of those things will get delivered again to our new production buildings. Um, but for now, how am I driving on the wrong side of the road? Um, for now, I'm going to finish this delivery, get all most of this silage sold um, or at least delivered to the our new production point. And then next time we'll get into some harvesting. I want to say thank you to everyone for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know down below what do you think of the massive hayfield. And the other one that I really need to know is, yes, we are making that new uh, crop field, which is probably going to be wheat or barley. But over in the forest, but should I expand the mega meadow? So the first one we made, should I expand over the hill? Because now... We actually do own a lot more land and there's plenty of trees to chop down. Um, this map has an abundance of trees and things that we can do. So the question is, is do I expand? Let me know down in the comments below. Should I expand that one also? And what's next? We'll see. But as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.